Alright, here we are with uh, WWE 2K15 and it's wonderful music which you'll be hearing a lot of um, because of the menus and everything and uh, hold on, I'm checking my uh, settings here. I'm just setting this up. Sorry. I'm not being a good uh, streaming guy here. But uh, bear with me. How the fuck? I'm just setting up um, my streaming channel. Again, this is only my second ever stream. So I'm just putting my website. Because I guess that's what all the good us uh, you gotta market yourself. Cause otherwise, what the what the hell what the hell are you doing here? And uh, I don't even know what I'm doing here, you guys. But I'm uh, again I'm playing video games, and since uh, since people requested it, I'm gonna do it and tell people don't seem to like it anymore which could be like right now but whatever I wish I had like a little keypad like I do on my uh, 360 but I do not does that even exist alright there we go Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna play this game. So what I what I'm gonna play today is my universe mode, which is uh, I started I have um so basically you can simulate multiple federations. So I got I got SmackDown, I got Raw, and then I got my um, my Fed, which is the BWF Brendo Man Wrestling Federation. And, um, yeah, so I already played a couple matches, I just realized, but, um, we got a couple, we got three rivalries going on right now. One is for the world title, which is, uh, Daniel Bryan and Ult versus Ultimate Warrior. Um, and then I got just a regular rivalry between Kofi and, uh, Cody Rhodes. And then, I like Curtis Axel, so you guys can all just suck it. Um, I know a lot of people don't like him, but I'm a big Curtis Axel fan. And he is my current U.S. champion, and he is—he's uh, got a feud going with Rob Van Dam, and uh, and that's what's going on right now. So as part of the Kofi Cody feud, we've got them teaming up against the Blade Runners of Sting and Ultimate Warrior. So that's the match we're gonna get to right now. Isn't this exciting, you guys? This game got really, really bad reviews, and I still, I don't understand, because people are like, oh, it's so slow, it's, I don't like the pacing, I'm like, they, they specifically paced it like a wrestling match. I guess some people are like, well, I get that, but it just doesn't work for me. It works for me, I mean, I get it, like, some things don't work for people, but for me, as a wrestling simulation, I think this works real well. Uh, it's different than previous games, but I appreciate that, and I really like the my career mode, and I like the look of this game. Um, people were mad about, I guess, uh, the legitimate beef of this game is that people don't... People, there's a lot of features that were in the previous game on previous gen systems that are now missing, and... There's only, there's like a quarter of the, um, there's only 25 creator wrestler slots, as opposed to 100 in the previous games. There's, they, they really dumbed down the creator wrestler feature in some of the other creation suite. There's no more creative belt, 
No more create arenas. The create entrance is like really half-assed. And, his and as Benson work. pointed out, a From lot of when you try to make yourself as a wrestler, it ends up being fake fat news. There is a feature where you can scan in your um, face, but you have to have Photoshop and really know what you're doing. I haven't tried it yet, but I watched some videos and it seems kind of complicated, so I haven't really done it. My Brendo Man, I don't think it looks like Fat Miz. It doesn't really look like me. It looks like kind of Miz, and I made him less fat. Because, hey, this is my video game. So if and I don't want to be, if I don't want to be fat, I'm not gonna be fat. All the WWE universe, letting them hear it. Yeah, here we go, the Blade Runners. I guess if I want to be more accurate, I would have used like 1990s Sting, but I I love Pro Sting, so that's what this is gonna be. And I think I'm supposed to play as Cody and. Um, Kofi to continue this story, but I'm gonna play as Blade Runners because that's what I want to do. Yeah. Man, I had like five people on my Steam World Dig stream, and I've got zero on the video. It looks like there's a little confusion about who's going to start things out here. Don't care about this game. So, whatever. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. I think it'd be cool the to like for. play this and talk this about wrestling. And it would just be like Brendo's oh, wow. wrestling show, and people could like could talk about Great wrestling in the chat, or people could make fun of wrestling in the chat. I don't care. Um, whatever. Speaking of wrestling, I just watched Monday Night Raw, and I thought it was a pretty good episode. Um, the Authority's back, which I don't not a huge fan of, but. Whatever, keeping it interesting. You know, for years, um, Sting's been the, the proud like, owner of one of the most hard painful to watch submission holds in the history like of Something like Raw right after you watch Wrestle Kingdom, which is like a totally on a whole other level. It's really different. Wrestle Kingdom is a little bit on the internet. I see Japan wrestling, and it's their biggest show of the year, and it was phenomenal. And this year, um, World of Force Wrestling offered commentary from JR and Matt Stryker. It's hard to play a game, like really focus on a game and talk. I guess that's something you learn as you get going. I guess. Uh, my beef with this one is the tag team matches don't go as smoothly. Like in 2K14, when you tag you know, your part, like if you, you were in trouble, like if you were to break up a pin or something, um, if you needed your I mean, partner out there, he would be way at, right out there, like the AI. Flair, this like one, you'll see, he's like delayed, so it's hard to get a pin because the, a, the, 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 the um, computer's tag partner has no problem getting in there and busting up your pin, but to bust up the bust the pinner buster upper, it's a it's a lot. I don't know, the tag matches aren't as fluid this year. And I, I think, again, I think they'll work on it. And I don't think that's, a, you can't, I agree that you can't just excuse everything because it's like, oh, it's their first next-gen title and blah, blah, blah. Like, a bad game is a bad game. I wouldn't call this a bad game. I just think it's flawed. And again, like I said, I like it more than most people, but whatever. And now he's back out of my the first time playing with Sting. <laughs> So, um, and also, it's weird that some matches use the mechanic where you have like this rock, paper, scissors, um, and you're doing like chain wrestling to start the match, but in tag matches, and in some other matches, that's not the case. So I don't know where the game makes that differential. Again, there are certain things they have to work on, and hopefully they will. And... We won't get the complacency I feel like we did with some of the previous WWE games where right? like the difference between 13 and 14 was not a whole lot. I mean, they fixed a few bugs, but then they introduced a whole bunch of bugs. And there's some glitches on this. Um, I'm sure if you just look up WWE 2K15 glitches, there will be many. I, I found one. I wrestled, once wrestled... In my career mode, I wrestled a series of cage matches 
and in the first cage match I did, the cage was invisible. And I couldn't, because for a while I'm like, what the hell do you, this is, I thought this was a cage match. What's going on? How do I win? Because it wouldn't let me pin anybody. And then I realized I had to climb the invisible cage. Uh -oh. So I did. It might be time to run. And it was like, I'm floating in the air. Ultimate Warrior on the offensive. Ultimate Warrior, rest in peace. With a 180, Kofi Kingston, the reversal. Dropped. And that was a hard, hard shot. I just think the game looks great, and the universe mode is fun, and I don't know what everybody's I mean, I know what everybody's complaining about. I guess I don't know why I'm his saying that. Knows no bounds, I just, and neither does his vertical leap. I don't know. Kingston For me as a fan, it's fun. It's so it awesome. This is basically the reason why I bought a PS4, He's done. and I don't regret it. I don't. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There we go with the big splash. Incredible Boom. By Ultimate Warrior. Okay, so what you need to do here is take out Kofi Keep so he doesn't mess up. One. Oh, God damn it. See, I should be able to just hit Kofi instead oh, of doing a fly. That's so. why it's called high risk, Crazy. ladies and gentlemen. Kofi Kingston is starting to hit the wall physically now. All right, whatever. Feel the wrath of Sting. And also, tag team special moves. Um, my go-to thing, see, I'll show you. I used to do this. You drag Tony's the guy over, it. well, you reverse it. A lot more reversals in this game, oh, and it takes a little speed, while Michael. to learn the new system. But you gotta really be on point. Oh. Alright, so, in 2K14, my go-to in tag matches was you grapple, you take him over, the guy does hot tag and then you do the thing but I you mean you could do a tag move I've yet to be able to do a freaking double team move it and just he goes back to his corner like what the shit alright what's my signature here can I do a stinger splash I don't even know oh I'm already on finisher shit Look at all right well, I'll just do a death drop boom try and get a pin in here I think I'm in the ropes Kofi's already freaking out there, my guy, in 2K14, when you hit your finisher, your partner would already be out and ready to take, like, Warrior should have already been out to intercept Kofi, but he doesn't even get out there until, so that's what's kind of BS about this version, there is a lot of work necessary in the tag thing, and I'm trying to punch Kofi over here, but it's not letting me do that. So, okay, it's kind of, kind of bullshit. And now the toll of this very physical contest is beginning to show on his body. All right, let's go back to the warrior. In case you guys didn't know, the whole reason why I have Sting and Warrior teaming up is because they, when they first started their careers, they were a tag team called and Blade Runners. And a reversal from Sting. For that one, my jaw always seems to hit the floor at least once per Kofi Kingston match. This is Kofi Free New Day. There's you can get um there's there's downloaded wrestlers you can uh, get the New Day attire, but I just haven't Ultimate done that yet. Uh, I, don't know. I still don't know how I feel about the New Day. Okay, so I should be able in a perfect world I can run over and uh, punch and Kofi. Instead, he's going to do a hot tag and beat the shit out of me. I don't... The computer does hot tags all the time. I've yet to even be prompted to do a hot tag. Again, tag oh. matches. Need some freaking work here. He saw that one coming. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to freaking down. punch Cody here. No! Oh. See? God damn it. Okay, hop back down. Punch. Cody, there we go. Thank you. Now I'm gonna slap a submission on maybe. Get this match over. Should be so done already. 
And there's the submission. There go. This come on, baby. Hit. This hold is locked in okay, really there's good. Yeah, he's got to get the pressure off somehow. See, it's arbitrary when your partner's going to help you. And... Whoa! Would you look at this? Oh Can God. you believe it? This is but... an undying will to Dude, succeed. Can... These guys are both dead. And we should be able to wrap this match up. Just timed that perfectly. Even when they're dead health, they can reverse the running attack. He needs to, oh, oh, it's not there it very is. consistent. Alright, kick out Kofi. Oh, he took me out. Because of course a guy with like zero health is gonna be able to do that, no problem. Looks like we're going back inside. Cody Rhodes shows us some clever offense here. Ultimate Warrior is locked up. Uh oh. Ultimate Warrior is right, locked up. Alright, here we go. Gorilla Press Slam. Boom. And now, Ultimate Warrior could have okay. this match okay, in the back. Go punch Kofi. Kofi punch. Ha! Did it. Pin. Pin that son of a bitch. Oh, in the ropes. Shoulders down. One. Two. And Rhodes powers out of the count oh, of two. Shit. Ultimate Warrior knows how to punish off an opponent. There's the cover. Kenny he... And a kick out by Cody. Kicking <laughs> out. I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, let's get the submission going here. Come on. How are these and guys still walking? I guess he wants to try something else. I don't know what more you'd want to do to another man. Ultimate Warrior gets out of trouble quickly. All right, let's see if Steam can do any better. I don't know. Again, tag matches. Not my favorite in 2015. Are you kidding me? Because Sting with a great offensive partner's show. useless, it's difficult to take out the other guy, and even when they're at like no help, like they are right now, they will get right in there and intercept you. And he has to make a tag to his fresh partner. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling so, that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Just... Oh. Nope. I got a beat on him some more. They've well done finishers like crazy. Now he's back out on the apron. And he does it one more time. Punch Cody. Oh, Punch him. No hard ah. shot. Now. Nasty landing. Damn it. And he gets escorted back through the ropes. People have been asking me when that Bender, Brendo's wrestling show is coming back. It's probably going to be soon. Good lord, look at the fire. Oh my god. Especially gosh. after Wrestle Kingdom. I really want to talk about it. I know we need to really do more Matt and Brendo's wrestling show. Oh, okay, I'm trying to get up before so I can do my comeback, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So awesome. Nice move. Cody hoisted him up. Can you give me a chance to reverse that? What a slam from Cody. That's some bullshit. He could hit his opponent oh, right here. And there's the breakup. That could have okay, been good. it right he there. He actually helped me there. Thank you, Warrior. Oh, my Warriors. gosh. Oh, he's in trouble now. Uh, he's going to probably be a finisher. Unless I can block Whoa, it with his hand, of course. Oh, Crossroads. Devastating. Simply devastating. I might lose. 
my lose this freaking match. Okay, we're in rope break here. Alright, I should be getting prompted to do a hot tag. Somebody freaking hot tag. How do you do a hot tag? Here it is at all Come on, guy. Alright, we got finisher. Finisher time. Finisher, finisher, finisher time. Nope. And Ultimate Warrior, what offense? Oh, I gotta, he's got to be on the ground. Ultimate Warriors here we go, big splash time. See, in 2015, oh, my freaking partner would already be out there that bailing on right Kofi. But no. So I got to take out Kofi, my goddamn self. Oh, look at this! Ah. Not the position you want to be in. I don't know. I might lose this match. See, that's my rule in universe mode: is if I lose, I lose. That's it. Go on to the next. Of course, Kofi's like totally red. He's got like no health, but he can reverse everything. And stomping Warrior to crap. Warrior still got tons of health. And. Ultimate Warrior didn't I like that. Look at this. And Ultimate Warrior just manages uh, to roll the shoulder. And I'm going to eventually do some more wear down on Kofi, I guess. Hey, I reversed that. Oh. I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. I don't know what that was. Man, Ultimate Warrior, what offense. Alright, come on. Let's stop looking around here. I can't wait to see what Ultimate Warrior does here. A tight hold here. Does come he on, come on. Before Kofi gets out. there, just oh, the tap out. Thank you. This, the to that took the way match. too damn long. What? What? Oh, look at this. You saw the tap. There was a tap. How? Oh, this game. Oh, come on blow. now. There's the cup, and he gets the shoulder up. Can you look at the snack down tomorrow night? Oh, uh, you bet I am. There's no telling what's going to happen. Uh-oh, it might be time to run. This could do it. Referee barely had time to begin a count there. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This get has up. been brutal. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Is Unibashan in this game? No. Luna Vachon is in um, well the right original the Raw game for Super Nintendo. I'm sure there's a DL somebody what created Luna Vachon, though. Okay, come on. Let's cut the bullshit here. Oh, I'm getting Great killed. Reversal. Now let me use my special move for some reason. Oh, mama! Come here, come here, you little bitch. Uh oh, Ultimate Warrior is looking to end it. Man, there's no getting up from that. All right. So what I need to do right now is I need to punch. Kofi off oh, a freaking thing, and then I'm gonna do a submission, and then I'm gonna submission win this damn match. In, and he's in big trouble. I think we may be uh, away from to the ropes. His breaking point. Okay, so it did that last time, Ultimate but it didn't ring win. the bell. I don't understand that, but whatever. I did it now. Well, let's take a look at some of those highlights. Boom. That should have been the match right there, but Kofi came out of nowhere. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's Punch check them out. Kofi. Go for the pin. But Kofi kicked out. Oh, Again, boy. like after I was that like a was no freaking. Let's see some of the highlights. Oh, Magic Kofi coming in to save. No, nope. kicked oh, out again. Everything they had at each How many times they tried to beat this Let's guy? Look back at everything that happened. Punch Kofi. Boom. Now I get the submission. The end. I'm like Bobby Heenan at the end of Monday Night Show. And Here are your winners. Heenan. Stay. And the, the ultimate warrior. He's 
got like, he had throat cancer, so it's like Rod Reed because he can't talk anymore. It's really sad. This guy was like the best commentator ever. Alright, let's go to the next match. In tonight's BWF, it's called um, BWF Blast. That's my show. We got Daniel Bryan, BWF champion, against Ultimate Warrior. Because in, in my world, Daniel Bryan didn't get hurt. And Ultimate Warrior's still alive. But Daniel Bryan is coming back. On, last, on the last Raw of the year, the he almost... I thought he was going to retire, and I was like, this is his way horrible. To the but he's going to be in the Royal Rumble, so I'm super Washington. excited. Great and I got WrestleMania tickets, and I'm hoping that he will be fight wrestling for the championship. Okay, so here's another thing that sucks about 2015. 2014, you can make your own belt. I had a belt that said BWF, world title. Now you can't make your own belt, so my title is the ECW world title. So it's the ECW world title, but he's the BWF champion. Whatever. But come on, that entrance is it's like, look at the graphics compared to like real life and the entrance. This is really cool. It's pretty good. I do have a Brendo Man character. He's in the BWF, but he hasn't really done anything yet. And here comes Warrior challenging. This match is in a non-title match. And approaching the ring, weighing 275 pounds. The ultimate warrior! Okay, has there ever been a more energetic entrance in all of sports entertainment? Hmm. I'm gonna be Daniel Bryan, because he's my favorite, and he's the champion. King, one of my I'm gonna favorite kick Warrior 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 and it's to you do this until somebody has more momentum, and then you can actually start doing some I think Daniel Bryan's personal life power moves. So it's like it's to pace it like a real, like an actual wrestling match. Like you can't just start in a real wrestling enough, match. Right? You know, you have a pacing which tell, helps the storytelling of the match. The otherwise, the crowd just gonna is going to be going crazy the whole time, and they're not going to, you know, if Jake Roberts. Mentioned, you know, a, a good wrestling match is like having sex. Yeah, Daniel Bryan is in build. control. So Folks, that's why you have this lockup thing. But I've already got Warrior now. down enough that I can grapple him. All the way slam. And those fists just kept flying and flying. Wow. Well, Michael, you touched on Daniel Bryan's personal life, and there's something about being told no your entire life. I mean, it motivated Daniel Bryan to follow his So my technique is I usually try up. and wear guys it down with a lot of submission say, moves uh -huh, just to the head, the answer is um, depending yes, on the guy. Yes, yes. And um, I'm just really wear him down. I go for the more methodical approach. Daniel Bryan going for the cover. Ultimate Warrior gets the shoulder up. But everybody's got this in style. Kicking. <laughs> Nicely avoided there. When you talk about Daniel Bryan's experiences and how being told no motivated him to work hard enough for people to say yes, this opens the door and lets all of us see who Daniel Bryan really is. A fighter who is never going to give up or back down, whether we're talking about his personal life or professional one with WWE. Well, you're right about that, Michael. You know, Daniel Bryan is a great story, a great success story, and believe me, it takes one to know one.
Daniel's journey to WWE greatness can be directly traced back to his experiences growing up in Washington State and trying to break into sports this entertainment. Beauty. That's only fitting that today, someone who was always told no, here's chance of yes wherever he goes. I think it's the awesome. animation in this one is much Bam. smoother than previous ones. There's a lot no, of, not again. like, cool animations. Ouch. But again, not gonna lie, as you can see in the previous match, this game has some problems. Whoa. He's measuring. I still love it. I don't regret purchasing it. I got you the Hulkamania edition. There isn't a crowd in I don't this regret purchasing that. that. Doesn't love pulling for the underdog. And you'd have to say that this. Oh, that's it. That's yeah. gonna be it. Oh, Daniel look at that. Just come back. Now that's a finishing move Boom. right there, people. You're not gonna be coming back on me, Warrior. Now I'm gonna get my finisher on. Boom. Oh, trying to put him away. Yes, lock. How do Bam. you think Ultimate Warrior could unleash substantial make punishment Ultimate Warrior right tap. now? Tap. Tapping like crazy. And Daniel Bryan has done it. Boom. That's why he's the champion. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. It's true. Life of a pro wrestler is a dangerous life. Let's go to the highlights here. All that here. time on the road. It, oh, uh, I don't know how you can pick out highlights from that match. The take whole match was highlights. I think we're almost to that point where I feel like this generation's wrestlers aren't all roided out. So I think they're Here's taking better care of themselves, but sadly these wrestlers the from the past was. that were oh, yeah. didn't make as, as wise choices. They're, they're they they die. And I like I don't know any it's like it's crazy to me when you think about it, because like over 50% of the wrestlers that I grew up watching are dead. And imagine if that was true about, like, other sports. Like, imagine if that was true about baseball. Like, if, like, all the, like, that'd be like if, like, all the baseball players from the 80s were dead. Like, that that would be horrible. Um, but what I would compare it to to make it more equivalent is, like, the life of a musician, a traveling musician or comedian. And then it kind of, it's more comparable. Like, a lot of musicians and comedians from my younger ages are dead because it's that road lifestyle. And if you don't have a solid head on your shoulders, if you're already struggling with addiction and other things, yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. But I think they have taken strides. I still think they need to do a lot more. Um, there's too many guys that work injured, and that is bad. I think painkillers are still a big problem. And I think Vince McMahon, as much as he tries to claim that everything's perfect, he has a head off. He has a, he has, I think he has his head up his ass, but I mean, it's his company. He can't just be like, yeah, it's my fault. But yeah, there is nothing that, nothing truly compares, but I think you can, the most you compare it to is something else that's on the road as much as a wrestler. Because unlike normal sports where there's an off season, there is no off season. There's no, you're not, cause like, yeah, athletes, like, you know, like a professional baseball player, they're on the road, what? Like from April till October. And they got that off season, football. They're, they're playing one game a week and they're practicing, but they're, they spend a lot more time at home. Whereas you're in the WWE, you're, you're wrestling, you know, a couple hundred days a week, if not more. Um, if you're an indie guy, every weekend, sometimes three, four times a week, driving all over the place, barely getting paid anything. There's no union. They really, there should be a union. Like, it's, it's bullshit. They can't form a play. They can't, they don't have a union of wrestlers. They can't, most of them, let, if, they, if they can't do that, let them join SAG, but they're not part of SAGs. They're like in this whole middle zone. So the only person looking out for him is themselves. It's a really crazy thing, but um, I and that but that makes me appreciate the art form all that more, I guess. All right, so I got SmackDown, but I don't. I don't this is just like I simulate it because it's not my Fed. I'm gonna try and I want to. I didn't. I wanted to get. I didn't. I don't know. I wanted to sign all my favorite wrestlers right away, but. Um, then I'd have too many guys and I wouldn't... 
I wouldn't be able to. It wouldn't. It'd have have too many guys. I'd be like WCW in the late '90s. Just too many on the roster. So I'll slowly, you know, change guys in and out. All right. So moving on. We'll go to the next BWF. Oh yeah, Mark Henry's still around. Mark Henry is still wrestling. He's been wrestling forever. Mark Henry's still wrestling the big show. I think the one that's craziest to me is Gold Dust. Because Dustin Rhodes has been wrestling since 89? 90? I mean, and he's better than ever now because he finally got sober. But I also got the WCW packs. So that's why you'll see Lex Luger here, where in real life Lex Luger can barely walk. Um, Darren Young, I thought he wasn't even with the company anymore until he was on Raw last night, standing behind John Cena, and I was like, oh shit, there's Darren Young. Um, don't know where Tamina is. Oh, dude, see, in, in, my, in, in, in wrestling world, Bo Dallas beats Roman Reigns. And Fandango beats Ryback. I love it. Alright, so yeah, so then you got, like, uh, a rival over here. John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is the champion on Raw. And John Cena beats Lesnar. I guess that's true to life. See, so yeah, I'm simming through the other. See, there's Gold Dust. Still at it. Big show still going on. Good old Batista. All right, so this week on BWF Blast, we got, let's, let's run down our card here. Because basically, the game, you can, I can update the card as much as I want, but I like letting the game choose. Like, I could change this match to whatever I wanted, um, but I like letting the game pick. So I got Bam Bam Bigelow versus Justin Gabriel. I got Sting versus mid-90s Fit Finley. And, uh, something just popped up. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, rest in peace. Bam Bam Bigelow. It is, it's kind of going to come up a lot. Um, but yeah, so, I love early 90s Fit Finley, because it's, uh, it's got the crazy mullet. That was from the WCW pack. Then we got Curtis Axel, son of Kurt Henning, rest in peace, versus Rob Van Dam, Extreme Rules. We got Cody Rhodes versus Kofi, and we got Warrior versus Bad News Barrett. So let's, let's keep going here. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Justin Gabriel. Here we go. I think I'm going to play as um, Scott Steiner is not in this one. He was a DLC on the last one. But the good thing about, see, on these games, you can download any wrestler, because people create them. The I just gotta download some. Making his way to the ring, from Asbury Park, New Jersey, weighing 400 pounds, Bam Bam Bigelow! Yeah, he was a downloadable wrestler in 2K14. This is like WCW era Bam Bam Bigelow. This was like towards the very end of his career and life, sadly. One of the best big men ever, in my opinion. You want to see a good match? 1995, King of the Ring. Bam Bam Bigelow against Bret Hart. It's a fantastic match. And approaching the I just watched it recently. From Town, South Africa, weighing 213 pounds, I don't think Justin that's just Bret Hart. Gabriel. Bret Hart can make anybody look good, but I think it's also Bam Bam is one of the best. Um, yeah, Bam Bam, Yokozuna um, were definitely, like, Yokozuna was incredibly agile for as huge as he was. And the Bam Bam just Bam Bam did a freaking moonsaw, um, and his ECW run was amazing. His matches with Taz and yeah, it's fantastic.
Yokozuna was in 2K14, not in... All, 2K14 had way more, like, legends, because it had the WrestleMania mode. This one doesn't have as many as that, which is a little bit of a bummer. But again, if you, you can... Uh, You can download uh -huh. them, but there's only 25 creator wrestler slots, which is bullshit. Right oh, no. Wait a minute. Yeah, those Samoan, the here? big Samoan guys. Because then you had like Umaga, rest in peace, and Rosie. Look out! Headbutt! Oh! Did you hear those Anawise, man. You hear how his leg connected? Look out. Very agile. Ow. Talk about meeting of the minds. Very big, solid. Alpha trained all those guys. Yokozuna, all those dudes knew what he was doing. Bam Bam Bigelow is undoubtedly now you have the next generation of that family in Roman Reigns and, and uh, the Usos. I feel like the from the East. that's kind of comforting you knowing there will always be some Anawise wrestling, the and they have been I mean, for the last like 50 years. Bam Bam Bigelow really is an amazing athlete. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Well, Bam Bam Bigelow is just going to beat the crap out of Justin Gabriel. I guess he's done. I love move. Justin Gabriel. Yeah, he's one of my he favorite wrestlers. Um, I it's always unfortunate that when Headbutt. certain wrestlers oh. that you like are pretty much used exclusively as jobbers, but I understand. That's his spot on the roster at the moment. And maybe one of these days he'll get a chance. I don't know. He's still entertaining to watch. He always has good matches. Just, um, he's pretty much a jobber at this point in his career. He's got a cool accent. From South Africa. Look at this. Justin Gabriel doing some good work here. from the head all right let's see what his signature oh, is this isn't good that's it Ooh, he's that. i wonder if he can do his bam, bam, oh please let him do a moonsaw please moonsaw boy he is really tired now that tank of his no. has to be yeah. oh my gosh okay let me let me look and see what his specials are oh diving headbutt bam bam saw Dive versus ground opponent. Okay, I'm totally gonna freaking do that. All right, maybe I just need to position him better. All right, come here. Yeah. He's got him up. Two. Take you down. Ow. Boom. Pull you. He needs um, to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going. Now, doing whatever it takes to win. Yeah, you're, I think, in the minority on that, especially from, like, I agree to a point, but some of the, whoa, the gimmicks whoa. were getting so ridiculous in the mid-90s that there was such a huge backlash against, like, overdone gimmicks that I, I don't know if that time will ever come back. I, I think there is room for certain gimmicks, but... I think it's because of like the mid '90s when there was like Doink the Clown, and uh, which original Doink was fine, but then you had like guys like Duke the Dumpster Drosy and Isaac Yankum, and it just got really freaking ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I agree. I agree. It's a lot of fun. I just don't see that making a comeback anytime soon. I think there can be a good mix, though. I mean, you have a... I think right now... Well, Another stiff kick. I don't know. Uh, Justin Gabriel sways the match his way here. I like Fandang. I like Fandango. Not not as much anymore. I don't like his new personality. He's uh. the what athleticism. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Folks, it, it's clear that Justin Gabriel is feeling the brutality of this match. 
crap. See, I'm trying too hard to do the moonsaw, and now I'm getting beat up. And that shot was dialed in. You hear how his leg connected? Hey, Justin Gabriel showing some adversity right now. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Wow! Another really shot pull off with the that moon. Well, Kane is still around, and a second time, Bam Bam Bigelow is looking to fly. Why? There we go. That's Boom. It. He's done. Kane's still around. He was like he was Undertaker's brother. Now he rotates between the Demon Kane and Corporate Kane. Right now he's corporate team. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. So it's like this half twist moon saw, but it's crazy if you can pull that off because Bigelow is like legit like 380. And some of the action we saw during the match. Solid. Here is your winner. Bam. Bam. Bigelow! Wow, he just never got out of the starting gate. What an impressive victory that was. There's some gimmicks, there's just not as many gimmicks. I don't know. And there, I mean, a lot of them, these days, gimmicks are more natural. But you still have things like Demon Kane and Fondango and Santino Morello, who's like a joke character, but... I mean, there's gimmicks just not to the extremes that we once had. Because, I mean, you got, you got Dean Ambrose, who's like kind of loose cannon character. You got Bray Wyatt, who's like hillbilly cult leader um, in the Wyatt family. So there's still gimmicks, just not to that level of extreme. It's different. And I think... Wrestling can't rely on the nostalgia factor alone to have a build an audience. That's just my opinion there. But I agree with you. I think there's I like gimmicks and I think I think there's a middle ground. I think oh hell in a cell shit here we go I think I'm gonna do this match and then I'm gonna call it for now but I appreciate everybody who tuned into the stream and watching my first one of my first video game streams the following contest is a hell in a cell match. speaking of gimmicks Making got crow sting what Oh my god, I was huge Sting Mark back in the day, and I still love him. And when he came out at Comic-Con at the WWE panel, Benson can attest to this, it was the most I've ever freaked out at anything. And then when he came out at Survivor Series, I woke up the people in the room above me, and I'm pretty sure they were pissed. So I love Sting. I got to see Crow Sting in person wrestling once. Well, he didn't wrestle, but it was a Monday Nitro in 97, before Starcade 97, and he rappelled down to the ring from the ceiling. And it and the whole place just went freaking crazy. And he had Tony Schiavone, it's Sting, it's Sting. Oh, there's nothing like that. So you look at the ring, 90s Pitfinney, it's the Maryland. best. Wait he's wearing some kind of football pad. Um, he's got the Finley. crazy mullet. Oh, it's like half leather jacket, half football pad. Like, that's pretty badass. Like, that's just saying, I'm a badass, and I don't care what you think about me. Yeah, I have a half football pad 
half leather stud jacket and I got this beautiful thick mullet. And yeah, we're gonna do this. If you want to hear me talk with another person, you can listen to my podcast, RadioBrendo.com. I think it's a little bit more entertaining. It's ghastly. Grotesque. So we got Hell in a Cell here. If either man were unable to walk out of here on their own merit. So basically, you do this chain wrestling until one of the guys has sufficient momentum. You can do running attacks and strikes, but when you try to grapple, you'll go into the chain wrestling. What an impact from that kick! Drop kick, right on target. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Do I play on my own Benson? And I haven't, but I want to. Benson has like a real job now and works like all the time. He almost took his head off with that lariat. And did you hear the impact on but that kick? Definitely oh, should do that sometime. And then we could stream it and it would be fun. Ding has taken control. The surfboard is being locked in. Looking for the submission. Oh, you're not gonna last long here. Now it's time to fight out or tap so, out, King. I can't decide what they're trying to do with Sting. It feels like it's going to be him against Triple H at WrestleMania, which I am totally fine with. I still wish he could wrestle Undertaker. I just don't know if Undertaker's in any shape to wrestle at WrestleMania this year. I mean, who knows? He might surprise us. If he does, I feel like it has to be against Sting. That's my dream match right there, because that's like franchise versus franchise. But if it's Sting, Triple H, I'm fine with that. I don't believe the destruction we're and seeing. And I feel like Sting has one more match left in him. And I feel like he'll he's been working out real hard. And uh, I think he'll be able to have one good match. And I'll get him I'm not, and hopefully he'll be at WrestleMania 31 and I'm gonna be there and I'm super excited. Last year at WrestleCon in New Orleans, he said basically he came out um, did an interview right, with Colt Finley Cabana, anybody, and he said, my favorite number is 31, so I don't think he gets goes. any more yeah, explicit how bad you than are. that, if as far as what his plans are in WWE. I think he wants one more match, and I think he wants it to be at WrestleMania. Are you kidding me? Look! And then next year, they'll put him in the Hall of Fame. Look at that, Cole! So... I think that's pretty much how that's gonna go. Look at this! Could it be? That's a single key. That's it. He's done. I'll probably do a single splash. I wanna fight on the outside of it. You can see him struggling to Let's stand see this. after all the damage he's taken. And he's heading back in. Let me remind everybody, Fight with there the are no steps. count out. It's compared. Oh, King, did you see that? Oh, man, oh. it doesn't get much closer than that. Uh, hey, wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. I must say, the innovative style of Finley sometimes leaves me in complete awe. I was I mean, loyal until WWF that of started every other Raw was taped, and WCW up. was live every week. And it was, it got really exciting when like the NWO thing happened and I would flip back Fit and Finley forth and then I, I would actually it. tape, is in um, I would tape both. And what a I had, from Sting. cause I think one there, because Sting I was on the West coast, like one was show. on later than the other. Oh. I just remember I would tape both or maybe I would watch one and tape the other and I would flip between the two during the Monday like night wars. Really and like, right that was just, that was an amazing exciting time to be a wrestling fan but during most of the 80s and 90s i was super loyal to wwf and every once in a while though stand, i would watch wcw because it was on way more like you had you had there was a period of time where time. they had a friday night show a saturday night show and a sunday night show he gets out of trouble there. and 
You could just watch. No, not again. Oh no. Oh. Hey, look at this. Ah, oh, shit. Billy really doing some good work here. Maybe I need to finish this match off because I'm gonna lose if I don't. I just want to smash him into the. Yep. There's the reversal by Fitz. So. No, not again. Thanks. <laughs> also, I love Sting, as, especially as a kid. Like I loved Sting, and Ric Flair in like oh, old school Ric Flair is like the best heel, pretty much ever. He does it again. How do you fling him into the freaking thing? He's still not through. I try. I do an Irish whip, and he does a. What a match! Momentum well, has shifted fine. back and forth repeatedly between these superstars. Probably have an ability. Get yeah, back, back in to here. the Let's ring. Finish this. Back into the ring now. Come on, finisher. Whoa, he's measuring. Scorpion death drop. Boom. Power pin. That wasn't much of a power pin. Two, three. That's it. The match is over. Boom. Sting. Continues his hunt. I think he's on a crash course for the BWF World Title. Sting and Daniel Bryan. That'd be that'd be a good matchup. And here's just some of the action oh, yeah, it was, during the match. It was almost all. I mean, they had very few homegrown wrestlers. It was all like, especially in the later '90s when you when they brought in Hogan and Savage and everybody. It was all WWE. Cast off. Here is your winner, I completely agree with you the there. But somehow, at least for a little bit, they made it work. But then it quickly man, oh became man, apparent they match. couldn't make their own stars. Whereas at the time, WWF was developing their stars. I mean, they rock. You had The Rock. You had Austin. You had Edge and Christian. Um, so many guys that Vince made stars, and that was something that Eric Bischoff and WWE could not do, with the exception of Goldberg. And they messed that up. They totally messed that up. They couldn't even do that right. So that's why in the end it all crashed and burned. They have a really good documentary series on the network. Even though it's completely biased and skips some important facts, the Monday Night War on WWE Network is a cool thing to watch. Okay, so if we back out of here see like I got rankings and it's like having your own fed which is like what I've always wanted out of a wrestling game so for me like this is awesome but I'm a super dope dork like nerd and so I get it like everybody's like oh because they took out I guess a lot of people love to create a story mode I was never super into that but they just took it out it's weird they have this next gen title and then they instead of adding having like they have new features but they also took out things and that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So you got your WWE.com, which gives the latest news. After Brock Lesnar's attack with John Cena, do 100% for their big man. WWF Raw is a fantastic game. I agree. But my favorite, I mean, the Nintendo 64 ones, like No Mercy, and the WCW NWO Revenge, those... In my, if I'm being like honest, those are those to me have everything you could want in a wrestling game. But I still like these. I love these new games just because of things like this. Like I have my own little federation. So here's my BWF rankings. I don't have a Divas title, but the Ultimate Warrior is the number one contender. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and CM Punk, who. Stopped wrestling this year, but he's still in the game. So you got your rankings. As you can see, Brendo Man is 16th. Sting's the number one contender for the television championship. Jack Swagger, Benny Fair, Bob Van Dam. Brendo Man is number six. Probably end up grabbing the TV championship before. My family are tag champions. You got the Blade Runners. I made a tag team with Sami Zayn called the Red Army because they're both redheads. So there's me. There's Brendo Man. Um, and then I made another tag team 
with uh, basically my two favorite wrestlers, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, called Best in the World. I made a team called the United Kingdom with Wade Barrett and uh, and uh, Adrian Neville. And then I made a new Heart Foundation with Tyson Kidd and Chris Jericho. That's what's left of the Heart legacy in this game. And then you got stats and stuff. But yeah. Alright. Well, I think that does it for today. But thank you for tuning in. Don't forget RadioBrendo.com. At BrendoMan on Twitter. The Radio Brendo is the podcast talk a lot about video games and other stuff i have a wrestling podcast if you want to listen to old episodes um we haven't done a new episode in a little bit since SummerSlam, actually but we're gonna try and bring that around in 2015 mbws pod is dot com is where you can check that out or go to benvnetwork.com that's where all the podcasts are but thank you guys for tuning in how do i stop this i was Okay, so broadcast settings and stop. All right. Thanks, guys.